Welcome back to another recap of the Big Brother Pepper Them Gang Reunion. So guys, today's episode was not really basketball. It was just a civilized way. And then I appreciate the way they did it today because there was nothing like fight. They just settled themselves maturely. It was in a civilized manner, a very matured manner. Okay guys, in today's episode, part one was the shocking moment when they evicted Islamo. That was the first thing they have shown us. And Islamo was just surprised that she was evicted. When Biggie said, Islamo, oh my God. But that very day, I was shocked. I said, no, I was just admiring Islamo in a far distant because I just saw a talent in her. I just see that she's just a simple person. The time she removed her wig, that was when I fall in love with Islamo. And I know you guys fall in love with her, but she did not really show her talent in the house. We did not really get to know her, but nonetheless, it's not a bad luck to her. God always do the best. God knows the best why she left the house earlier. And then Ebuka was asking whether Islamo was suck or Islamo was surprised or Islamo was thinking that she would not leave the house. Islamo said that she was not expecting to leave the house this earlier because she was thinking that she would still be in the house and then compete with other people. But unfortunately, she left the house. And then the next person who was evicted was Abala. And then Abala was crying. I saw her tearing up. I was like, no, no, no. You can't cry. That very day, I was so, so emotional when I saw her crying. I think it was touching that Abala left the house as well. She didn't really spend time there. She was the second person to be evicted. And then they evicted Ella as well. And then Ella on two was surprising because nobody was expecting that Ella would go. And then Ella has a talent and then her talent is singing. So we were expecting to hear a lot of melodious voice from Ella. But unfortunately, she left the house. And the next person evicted was Kim Oprah. Kim Oprah own was overconfident. That was what Ebuka said. Were you too confident to yourself that you would not leave the house or not? You know, she's a beauty queen and then she came out here. And then she thinks that she have a fan base, so they will be voting for her. So the competition was high, but she was really proud of herself that she can make it. Yes, she can make it. That was what she thought. And then in this stage, I'll just tell you guys something. What um, Islam and then Abala said to Kim Oprah. They said that Kim Oprah was full of herself. Kim Oprah was thinking that she's better than everybody in the house. She was just trying to carry soda and then Islam said that Kim Oprah accent was too much she was just tired of Kim Oprah's accent she was just thinking that Kim Oprah is not genuine or she is fake so Kim Oprah everybody was misinterpreting her because they think that that was a strategy or she just came by herself she did not come with a strategy it was just herself but unfortunately she said it was a strategy because there were many people there and they are competitive so she have to come with her own strategy and her strategy was to ginger us with accent but Kim you are still having the accent so the accent is still with you anyway the accent is not bad you have a good accent and I appreciate it as long as you are communicating there is no communication barrier or as long as people think that you are you are pretending to form your accent as long as it's beautiful it's, it's beautiful to hear so we are okay about it you know she's a beauty queen anyway it was a push and pull between Kim Oprah, Islamo, and then Abala, but later they settled it because Kim Oprah was just laughing. She was not quarreling. She was just being mature to herself. Today, okay, it's different from when she was telling Tatia that you were disqualified. You do not leave. You were disqualified. Today, it wasn't like that. She was just sitting down laughing over it because she know that they got her. That insecurity they were saying that day is really in her. She was not really secure. She was thinking that probably when she slagged or when she just relent, people would just they will just take the game over her but nonetheless it's a game so whatever you think is good for you to play you can play it but when you go outside the house you can be a different person or you be the person you were they now ask Islamo, are you cool with kim abala are you cool with kim he said yes we are cool and then kim said that she loves abala genuinely she really loves abala basically let them be friends that's it so literally we move on to the second part when they evicted jeff when they evicted Toyo, when they evicted um, Nelson, Nelson own was not surprising because he said that the energy he's supposed to give, to give was not really there. Because that time he was falling sick and then he did not really have the zeal to be playing so many things in the house. He was just dull, he was just giving a weak vibes and boring. So that was the reason why when he was evicted, he did not really got to blame a big brother or blame the voters he was just blaming himself why because he knows that the energy he gave out was not really enough and that's the reason why he was evicted 
and then you were just there mm -hmm, covering Esther, trying to make fraud feel bad, trying to make fraud feel like, wow, Esther left me for another man. So now see all your eye was in Esther's hair, but see what has happened. You left the house and left fraud with Esther. And then they continue their lovey, lovey. <laughs> Guys, don't mind me. It was a game, but it was wonderful. Jeff. Jeff said that his own was not surprising, but it was sucking as well because he was thinking that he has a lot to give out in the house, but he left without no time. So I'm very sorry for you, Jeff. Toyo was lucky because the time he was thinking that he would be evicted, they evicted someone else. And the, the other time he was thinking that he would get up again, they evicted another person again. But finally, Toyo, you left the house. Toyo, the dancer. Toyo, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Friday night party. When he left the house, I was really missing him. I was saying that, wow, the mood of the Friday night party has gone. <laughs> Toyo was a vibe in the Friday night party. He was just amazing. It was just amazing. Anyway, they are cute and then beautiful. Avala, I love the dress she wore. It is really, really beautiful. That purple color was just eye-catching, but just sweet. Mwah. Okay. Let us move on to the third part of the episode. Today's episode was not really long. They were just giving us advertisement, advertisement. Ebuka, we are tired of the advertisement. I know that is the sponsor. I know the advertisement is part of it because you guys need sponsors to raise money for the Big Brother reunion show. But nonetheless, the advertisement is too much, Ebuka. Oh, it's too much. You guys said that it's one hour, but it's like it's only 30 minutes they play the real um show but the other 30 minutes is advertisement i'm always pissed off they asked isilomo what do you think about kim opera she said that she thinks that kim opera is a guy's baby but kim opera is not woman baby like kim opera is lovable with guys but with ladies she always try to brag or to pull herself up or try to show people that i am here yes so kim opera she's always friend with guys and guys, Kim Opera and then Omar Shola, are they dating? Because I cannot understand them anymore. When I watch them on their Instagram or TikTok, I'm always confused. I think that they are even married. I don't even know whether they are staying together, but the love is so... Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's friendship or love, but I know that two of them mm -hmm, is getting overhand. I can't get it. I can't understand it anymore. Are you dating Omar Shola or you guys are still friends so please let me know on the comment section if you know that they are dating themselves or not let me know on the comment section okay they said also when kim opera got the bit of power kim opera was just like what just trying to show people that the bit of power was with her but unfortunately kim opera that bit of power did not really work for you so nonetheless that was what islamo said and then avala today avala and then islamo were the ones attacking kim but kim did not really reciprocate she did not her response was just calm and then she was laughing over everything you know there was a time jeff was eyeing kim opera and then kim opera there was even a day kim opera was sitting down all this part was open and then jeff was sitting beside her i was thinking that wow this girl and this guy they will fall in love because it was a moment that they were really getting close to each other but unfortunately the next week kim left the house i think that was the reason why they not did themselves and then Jeff said something which I was not really happy about. Jeff said that he had an affection for Avala or a liking for Avala. But later, there are some things that stopped him from not talking to Avala. But he never regretted not talking to Avala. Oh my God. And that thing got to Avala. Avala was pissed off. Avala was saying that, why are you saying that you are not, you do not regret talking to me? What happened? What have I done? What have you heard about me? So... You know, whenever a man says that to a woman, it feels so bad. But nonetheless, that's how they think and that's how they think that they can solve some problems. So, I don't know for them. So, that's it. So, guys, I think this was everything for today's episode. There was nothing much. And then the last but not the least was the boring moment or who is more boring in the house. They said Diane was boring. They said Telma was boring. They said Avala was boring. They said Islamo was boring. Nelson was also boring. Oh my God. For me, to be candid, I knew Diane was boring. Yes, at the, at, at the beginning, Diane was boring. But at the ending point, she wasn't boring. She was giving out some energy. When, when Elozonam came to the house, Diane was active. 
Telma wasn't boring. Telma was everywhere. Why are you guys saying that Telma was boring? Telma was a stepper. She liked her to dance. She's always fighting. She's always nagging and quarreling. Telma wasn't boring at all. Avala was boring. Mm, yes, she was boring, but I think Avala has a different um, behavior. Like, she's not boring, but she's maybe she's the kind of person who doesn't get used to people so easily like that. Like, she's not an open person, but probably she's not boring. But she's not really spend time with us, so we cannot really know. So, Islamo, I don't think Islamo is boring. The person who picked Islamo, you are wrong to me. Islamo cannot be boring. I hope that she had stayed more time in the house then we will know that whether she is boring or not but Islama is not boring Nelson sometimes um, he is boring sometimes he is not boring Toyo said that Nelson is boring and then Nelson said that he was surprised for Toyo to say that he is boring because he was always cooking for Toyo <laughs> yes Nelson likes to cook Nelson and Ford they were the good cooks in that house they were the chiefs so Nelson you are not boring sometimes but sometimes you are boring when you are with esther you are not boring but when you are not with esther you are always boring because you always want to go to the kitchen prepare some food be yourself be on your own so that's the reason why Toyo said that you are boring okay guys this was the end of the show today and i hope that i have done my best to make you guys to feel like you have watched the show so if i have done that please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to give me a thumbs up whenever you watch my videos and also subscribe to my channel yes don't hesitate to subscribe if you are thinking of how to subscribe or you are thinking of when should i subscribe hey hey you better subscribe because you don't want to miss any of these recaps i am giving you all the analysis or my own reactions on of any of the videos I am posting out here. I love you guys and then I wish you all good luck.